So before you even put pen or pencils to paper, there are several things you should do. Okay, in order to do well in writing exams, and in this part, I will give you an advice on how to plan for your writing exam. So, like, you can get the best marks as possible. Okay. So the first thing that you have to know is, can you choose the task? So, Jung, let me ask you first. Do you know the word task? Yes. Okay. First, you need to choose the one which is easiest for you. Okay. Or okay. Uh, any topics that you are most interested in. Easiest for you. Not easiest for your mom, your dad, or other people, but you are the one who write, or the one that you are really interested, because you will write better English if you are interested in the topic. So let me ask you first: Do you ever get a choice of task when you when you do the writing exams? No. No. Okay. Next, this step we call planning time. So before you start writing, you should know exactly how much time you have to complete the task or the test. Uh, I have talked with your mother. She told me that you will have about forty-five minutes, right? Yes. For writing, it's important, June. You have to make sure you have a watch, or you can see a clock in the exam, because you may not allow to have your mobile phone, right? On the yes. table, so you should wear a watch, and make sure the watch that you wear works really well. So you have got forty-five uh, minutes, right? Yes. Uh, there is no right, no wrong for for this. It depends on you. But I am going to. To give you some examples, okay, you could okay. divide the time in this way. So, if the writing task is forty-five minutes, the first stage is for the planning. The second one is for the writing, and the last but really important is for reviewing. Okay, so okay. how how are we going to divide the time? There is no right, no wrong. It depends on you. For example, if in my case, I will take about ten minutes for planning. Planning is very important. Ah, uh, it seems like ah uh, I use a lot of time for the planning stage. But a good plan is a key to success. Ah,、uh, it gives you the chance to really make sure you know what you are going to write before we begin. And for reviewing at the end, I use five minutes.、Okay. So this is just example for me in my case. The next step, June. What do you have to do? This may seem like a silly question,、ah! but you would be surprised that many students don't actually do what they are asked to do in writing exams. Okay, the first one: read the task carefully and underline the important parts of. The instructions. Did you do this? I only read it carefully. I didn't underline. Ah, okay, but that's okay. At least you read it. But some students they don't even read it. Okay, you will probably get、uh, the lower mark if you don't do exactly what the task says. Even if your English is perfect.、Uh, the third thing, June. June. You need to know how many words do you have to write. So, do you know this one? Oh、uh, no, I don't. You don't know now, right? Okay, because you can lose mark. You can lose mark if, if what? If you write too many. Or, too few. The next thing that you have to know: what type of writing is it? Okay,、uh, it's a story. It's an email. A for against a say.、Uh, for a story, Joe,、uh, we need we call it narrative. Most of the tense are past tense. We use most past simple tense, or sometimes can be past continuous tense, or we can use perfect tense. So, in a magazine article, 
uh, you should include personal experiences uh, not only personal experiences but you can add your opinions the best way to learn how to do well is you need to practice writing and of course you need to read a lot it's important reading stories for example will help you to get like to get good at writing stories okay so trying to okay. read as much as you can in english not in thai in english and you'll see that your writing will improve so to write well you need to think about who you are writing for it's important in reality it might be only your teacher right at your school in the test it will be your examiner who reads your writing but it really helps to imagine that you are writing to a real person so think carefully about who is going to read this type of writing don't just think about your teacher or your examiner think about the real reader and you will get a better mark if you choose the right style and if you can include interesting ideas you got that yes okay so for example if you're writing an email or a postcard to your friend you should use friendly informal language and contractions we will learn about this later okay if you are writing a report you will need a clear and formal style if you are writing a magazine article or other article uh, the language should be informal and chatty and if you are writing a blog this one blog or a post you need to write about a personal experience before we move to do you think about the reader when you are writing no no just think about the teacher right yeah okay from now on you need to think about who is going to read it not only teacher not only the examiner the last thing is making a plan so making a plan this sounds very easy but a plan will help you to organize your idea this is the key of planning so a plan will help you organize your ideas ideas can be single words you don't have to write or you don't uh, you don't have to write complete sentences just your short words for your idea when you have enough ideas uh, you organize them into a paragraph you know the word paragraph right yes okay so think about how many paragraphs you are going to write and organize your ideas into paragraphs many pieces of writing need four clear paragraphs 